Hi, it's Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today, I wanted to show you the different ways that one can do a decrease. Now, um, as you all know, we have a standard way of doing a decrease, the first way that we did it, and we've all found a couple of different variations of what we like to do. And it is definitely a preference thing. But I thought I'd go through a few, and I'd start by showing you the one that we originally um, worked out how to do and then the one that I find is the uh, my my preferred method and then a couple of other methods um, so as you can see I've started um, just making a sphere a ball and I'm just gonna pop my hook through my last round I did as green so that as I work in white bands you'll clearly be able to see what I'm doing I'm going to zoom in so that you can see very clearly Let's make sure we're focused. I'm going to do a couple of single crochets just to get us away from the start here. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to show you is how we have always done a, a decrease or the video, as I should say, that we started that started this decrease, uh, you know, the, the normal way of, of doing it, where you go through two stitches to basically combine them into one. That's what a decrease is, you're combining. So whereas an increase increases and you put two stitches in one to make it bigger, a decrease is to make it smaller. So you go through your foot, your next stitch. So we've done two single crochets. You go through your next stitch and then you need to go through the stitch next to it. And as you can see, that gives you four little loops on your hook. That's quite bulky. So when you pull your single band through, and you've got those four little loops sitting there and you do your single crochet you end up with quite a knot there's sort of like this knotty feel uh, because you've got four bands sitting on top of each other when you do a normal stitch you've only got two bands sitting on top of each other however this is how we do it and as you can see this outer stitch is sitting on top of the stitch in front of it okay and then the continuity is consistent in our work and when I'm talking about the continuity what I mean is that the stitch looks the same so you have these two little bits of loop here and the two that go across and then you have a green that goes down and then you have the two little bits here and the two that go across and this bit you'll notice will go down okay so I'm going to do another couple of single crochets and then I'm going to show you my preferred method, which is called a hidden crochet. Now, I learnt this stitch, I taught myself this stitch by watching the hidden de decrease in crochet with yarn. So what they do is you, you're just going, instead of through the two loops in these next two stitches, you're going to go through the outside loop only, and then the outside loop only, and still, just as we did with going through two and two where this stitch sits on top of this stitch and you have the continuity happening with this way you're going through the first stitch and the second stitch the back loops only and again still that sits on top of that which is very important because the continuity is going to be there but instead of four loops you've got two so pull your band through and do your stitch like so and as you can see you still have the two little loops that go here the two little loops that go across and you still have that green band that goes across like that as you can see I'm going to do um, a single crochet in the next two stitches so that you can have a look but what you'll notice is that because you've only got two loops sitting on top of each other instead of four whereas this one is knobbly this one is not knobbly it's just normal and you've got the continuity because you've still got your two little loops here your little loops that go across and here's your green stitches that go down at an angle that's all still happening so it does it just means that you don't see a big hole it's just joined it together, which is lovely. Now, talking of big holes, one of the ways they do uh, a, a decrease in crochet, and let me again do a couple of single crochets to get us out of that last one that we just did, 
is they literally they, they want to join these two together so what they do is they completely skip this one and go into the next stitch so this is another way of doing a decrease but if you have a look look at the whopping great big hole that gets left that to me is not very nice at all yes you have your continuity the stitches are all the same but you end up with two with whereas with these you've got one little line one little line here the continuity is ruined because you've got two little lines and i think that looks horrible plus you'd see a lot of stuffing coming out of there okay so let's again do a couple of little stitches move us along um Probably the next way that I think is the nicest is the Jordan Teen 1 method. And she, instead of taking the first stitch and the second stitch like that, she does it, does it the opposite way. So she takes the second stitch first and brings it in front like that. Okay, so we would normally go here and then to our next stitch she's doing the opposite way she's bringing that first the second stitch and then going into the first stitch now the problem I have with this it is seamless but I think the continuity is messed up a little bit and I'm just going to do two stitches and I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as continuity it is by far better than having a great big knobble in your work okay but if you have a look You've got your two little your two little lines here and two little lines here. You've got your little line. You've got well, this is this is where it happens, you see. You've got your two little stitches here and the two across, and you've got your green. And then here, if you look, you can see that instead of this one being on the top, it's got that band that goes across it here. Okay, none of the others do this this band is here there's no green band on top of it it's a very slight difference and if you look at the other one that i did again you don't see oops i'm back here you don't see the band on top of it it just keeps on f flowing okay but if you look here you do see that other band on top but i, I still think it's it's a nicer method i'm going to do another couple of single crochets And I'll show you my, the next one that I had heard of. The next one is instead of going through the two back loops, okay, what they do is go through the front loop of the first stitch and the back loop of the second stitch. And let's see how this one looks. Oops, front loop and back loop. Pull your band through. I'm going to do another single crochet just so that we can see so the difference with this you've got your two little loops here and the two across two little loops here two across this bit do you see this is the this is the first loop this is the back stitch of the first loop and you can see it whereas with the others you can't so again i think the continuity of your work it's not there because you can see it looks like you've got two little green stitches here instead of just one all right i don't like that way i i think you, you can see too much i mean it still works but it's not my preferred way okay i'm going to do another i'm going to do a couple of single crochets because we're uh, at the end here and i don't want to um I don't want to run out of space. So let's do a couple of single crochets. I'm going to miss my slip stitch. Go in with my green. Let's do a couple of single crochets in green. And let's try this so you can see what I'm gibbering on about. So in the first stitch, you do a slip stitch. In the second stitch, you do a slip stitch and then you pull this one through so do you see instead of having two two and your little white 
two, two, only a little white. You've got two, two, and then this is an extra bit here. Okay, so this bit here is extra. I'm going to do another single crochet and we'll see from a continuity point of view. Hey, come back here. One and two. So in here, you have two stitches. Okay, and I, I, I just don't think that's the continuity isn't there for me. It's not my preferred way. It still does the job. It still fills the hole. But um, yeah, not my not my preferred method. This to me just looks like um, an extra stitch that really shouldn't be there, and um, it it just looks odd to me. But that's just my opinion. If that's the way you're familiar with doing it, beautiful, lovely. But anyway, they are the different ways that uh, a variety of us have worked out. As I said, my favourite way is the hidden decrease. Um, and it's named that in, in crochet, it's a crochet term. Now, as I get to a point where I'm closing off, I do like to make sure that um, I do go through both loops rather than one. And the reason for that, the old familiar, is I think it's sturdier and I think you don't end up with any spaces. Okay, so when I'm doing a when I'm closing off, I do make sure that it's nice and tight and I go through all four loops. Just personal preference. There you go. I hope that helps. Take care everyone. Bye.